I really like this show. And I really like the fan slogan that were like, it, everything is a gun. It's like, it was the funniest thing ever. Like, oh, it's a pair of glasses, but it's also a Glock. And it's like, yeah, oh, I like that the, thing, the, you know? The teacher with, with the canister, and his canister is like a flamethrower. I was like, what? Uh, the homeboy was chugging vodka. And like, you know what? Love that. Love that. Because like, they had this sense of creativity for like the guns and everything. Look at the weaponry. Look at the weaponry. The weaponry is what I want. I, I want look that. At, I look want at this that. weaponry. Look at this weaponry from the last seasons. What do we got? I want that. We got no flair. We had legit or foreigners that is meant to be a dog or some type of Siberian husky or something. I don't know what he was. He had a boomerang. It was like, a boomerang? With a saw blade on one of the tips of the boomerang. It's like, a saw blade and also a gun. A gun! And you're like... That sounds really cool until you see the execution. Girl, you don't morph that? You you don't do things? You just have a big ass strapping triangle no, on your sauce back. Good day, mate. We 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 had the good planning, but you know what they forgot? The common writer Tokyo's uh the Tokyo uh Sentai. That's what they were missing. It's like we had the noodles. We had the side dishes. The plan was perfect, but you forgot the sauce. You forgot. You forgot the, the chef. <laughs> You're plating everything raw. Exactly. Oh my god, that's so weird. We're gonna start at the know. beginning, right? So it started off as a web series via Rooster Teeth, which does the "It's time for a death battle," right? But obviously, it's from a different part within the group. And the original creator is no longer with us. Rest in peace. Monty Ohm, R.I.P. He was a good one. Yeah, I actually uh, read the first three volumes of Ruby. And it's exactly... You read right. them? Yeah. I, I found them oh. fun. No, just like, you read them? Usually, like, people would just go and see them. But okay. If you can see Prison School, right? Those big volumes, and then those three white ones right right next to it, that's Ruby. All right. But so, anyways, Monty Ohm, yeah, go ahead. So his story is actually like very good in those first three volumes, and you can see where the story is progressively going. And personally, I love how they did something that's more rare in what is almost like a shonen type situation even though it's not shonen is it's a female led cast mm -hmm. so like in in rom-coms and like some other things or depending on like you know what the story is yeah there'll be a female lead but this is almost an entire female led cast there are very few male characters and very few male characters that carry importance like you have ospin you have the general there's like one or two other teachers you have the dads for all the, the girls, and, like, that's it. And and one uncle. That's it. E everyone else is, is mainly females. So that, that's something that, like, I tip my hat off to because that's something, it's not controversial, but it's something you don't see that often. So tip my hat off to uh, him. The animation of it, though, oof, it's, it's a bit rough around the edges. Um, Listen, Ruby is very much a product of its time. Like, we started, what, late to, like, early 2014? And when I got into high Pardon? I said, when I got into high school, that should tell everybody. Yeah, yeah. So it's, like, it's late 2014, early-ish at the latest, like, I believe, like, 2013, when we first started getting the trailers. Uh, it uh, all starts with like the simple. What was the uh, original release? July eighteenth of uh, twenty thirteen. Yeah, so like mid twenty thirteen to late and early twenty fourteen. Uh, that's when we started getting the trailers. Listen, the iconic thing of Ruby have always been the trailers, and sure, maybe in cohesion wise, and also. There's the part of, like, I'm sorry, like, if I'm going to overstep a little bit, it's just Ruby is one of those things that I um, followed throughout the years. 
and then ultimately when they stopped uh, having any form of cohesion, at least for me and like majority of the fandom, I kind of stopped. But that's like a topic for like later on in the video or in the podcast in this in this essence. But like the thing is that uh, the red, white, black, and yellow trailers were just meant to like introduce you into like that entire concept of Ruby. And red trailer is still one of the most iconic things. And like you can ask everybody. And you say, oh, have you ever seen the red trailer? And they always have a specific part of the trailer that they'll like. And it's most often than not always that shot of Ruby halfway, like, suspended through the air, her sight by her back, the moon shattered behind her. And, like, that's one of the most iconic things. And it speaks to what the creators originally wanted because it was always supposed to be like, hey, we're doing, like, this anime-esque battle shown it and it's gonna be really fun and whatnot but i guess somewhere along the lines it just lasts some form of cohesion but that's like internal issues as well but the movie is a great show like especially if you ever want to get into animation because like choreography and everything it's still one of those shows that you go like "Mm." Yeah, so that, that that's another thing about like, especially because it started off like as a web anime instead of a webtoon mm-hmm. comic, it was like a web anime. So it's like volumes one, two, and three maybe get you like ten hours of content, and that's pushing it. And that's because like each episode in each part or volume, I'm I'm gonna call it parts, even though it's volumes. But yeah, no, but in, you'll in, be fine either one, way you had like maybe four episodes that was like more than 15 minutes then in part two they were all getting closer to that like 20 minute mark uh same thing with part three but then once you get into like part five or part six all of them are like 20 something minutes and that's with the intro and outro music um that's actually something else that i realized their their music is pretty decent like for soundtracks and i got it's amazing as exactly like as the seasons progress the music gets better but as the seasons progress we as as juju said we lose progression we lose not progression we lose uh co- cohesion so it's cohesion. So, so it stops making sense for us um we um we stop having the things that made it interesting so as juju was saying like in um trailer red like i'm already hearing all of the sounds that was happening in trailer red I'm also remembering all the sounds that happen throughout, like, when uh, the scythe turns into uh, a gun, then turns back into a scythe with a sniper on it. Like, it's very... that That's something that they did very well. And I would rather have the lack in the quality of the animation, but still, like, you know, have better uh, voice acting, cohesion, and, uh, like, sounds, basically. Because everything made sense and everything meshed together. But once you get past, I want to say, like, maybe part five or six, that's where they start getting new coats of paint. And you're like, this feels kind of weird, but I'm going to let it slide. And then they remove a lot of the things that made it interesting for us. Oh, look at the little doggy in the corner. What? Oh, yeah, that's Clifford. I'm sorry. I just, I was looking at my, I was looking for my laptop because, like, I have, if we're going to be talking about Ruby, I want to bring into, definitely, like, definitely. the consideration for, like, the Grand Council, if, if we were to be, so to speak, uh, like, a creator that has gone to length, and I don't know if you want to tag uh, said creator later on, but, like, most of the basis, if we're going to be talking about Ruby, most of the basis and, like, arguments that I might have, or, like, opinions of the matter, Come also like as a form of echo on her because oh, yeah. she, uh, you, she had you a told me about her before that like her entire page is just Ruby content. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Um I yeah. I totally forget her her name and like that that's on me, but like last time we did it's, this was like it, in August. It's Twitter or um I know, I know her for critter. I just I need to look her up. Allow me, and I have her as one of my the judgmental critter. 
So the um, the judgmental critter has uh, gone into extreme length, and even her last video, which was about seven days ago, uh, she says, "What ruined Ruby?" But that's like entire thesis statements that she will often have because it is quite the overarching narrative and quite the popular thing to like bring up because it is uh, exactly as it sounds it's hey the fandom have been trying to go strong for so long but like at the end of the times it's just kind of like uh, are we are we even liking this anymore because some people have attachments to some of the characters but some some other fans are just like yeah man i just stopped watching and it's kind of disappointing in a, in a weird way. Well, so that, that, that's another thing, too, is that, like, I had an, uh, an attachment to a character. And I thought she was a great character. No spoilers, but emotional damage. I was not happy I, about I that. I immediately know who you're talking about. And it's, like, when... when I immediately when you know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not going to say who it is, right? You have to figure it out. Mm-hmm. You have to watch it for yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be the guy to spoil shit for you. But... I feel like we as a collective can say, if there's a really good character, very well written, morals, all this other shit, and then you just randomly off that character when no other main character has been off, or like no other like side character has been off, oh, it seems kind oh, of... Oh, we're talking about her? Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 And it, it is. It is. And it, at sometimes it's also kind of like disappointing because it's like... Okay, so you did this, and you did this more for like shock value rather than anything else, and it's like, why do it? Yeah. Why, why go off in that direction? And um, those are like a lot of questions that like the fandom in total has had. And like, I know that I'm sounding like I'm kind of like cutting myself off a little bit and going off on like weird tangents, but it's like we had so much high hopes, and suddenly they just fizzled out and it's kind of disappointing to be honest yes sage i see your hand up okay yeah so uh what juju is hitting on essentially that that's the more professional version we we got to get slightly unprofessional because i I, i'm not i'm not here for all that all right i'm here to record and i'm here to give out the truth all right so I'm half and half. Like I said, I watched the original when it was coming out on YouTube, coming through Rooster Teeth. All right, when they came out with Crunchyroll saying, you "Oh, it's a reboot." To the Rooster Teeth thing? No, but I've been oh, refusing. Okay. But you see, here's the thing: if I can still get my same quality from the one that's on Crunchyroll, then cool because I pay for Crunchyroll. But my whole thing is, I was here since day one. All right, and I'm 21, so so like I I understand. I get I might not be all the way in there, but you know I I was here since day one. You know I picked it up. It was good. I was like, okay, Ruby with the sniper sight. We was in the trenches. We was in the trenches <laughs> together, right? I was there. I was there. I, I don't think everybody else was there at the time, but you know I was there, sitting in there watching it every Friday. Like, it was Future Card Buddy Fight and Card Fight Vanguard off of Bushy Road. But that's a whole different story for a different day. <laughs> oh, yeah, Bushy Road, because they own New Japan Wrestling as well. And when I said that, mm-mm. again, different story for a different day. Getting back to Ruby, though. As far as that character, Sosa, because I think we both know who we talking about, right? Yeah, it's, right? Like, it's literally the only, like, mainstay. Well, it's not, like... It's not in RWBY. It's not from that group because it. The oh, oh no! I already they, know. I already know who you're talking about. I, she's a goddess. Don't know. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they don't pair up uh, children like they do in Naruto, right? Three kids and the adult. It's literally four kids all together, which is where you get yeah. Ruby. And there's like a whole bunch of acronyms for like Jupiter and all this other shit. Right. Speaking and, of Jupiter, which, and then, and then, then, hold on, hold on. Can we talk about how randomly there's a dude? And he's he's Goku. He he is Sun Wukong. I'm like, what y'all y'all did this just so people could be like, it's Goku. I mean, to be to be quite fair, it's anime. Like you have to have like a type of, like monkey type of, like in there 
Like, just as you have, like, the kawaii girl with the hammer, you have, like, the monkey type. Oh, I like, love the girl with the hammer. I love the girl huh? with the hammer. The girl with the... I mean... Is great. Are you kidding? I mean, all I'm gonna say is High School DxD did the same thing with the Goku reference. Exactly. So it had to be done. It had to be done. All right? But, like, here's the thing. If we're... If, okay, first and foremost, pause. First, pause. What is the topic right now? Because I feel like we're going to go off tins real um, quick. Cause we're still I would like to give there. 10 I mean, seconds I, 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 to I, I, the I, I, goddess bitch. and her death was unnecessary, but it was for character development. No, it wasn't. That, so, she... Alright, so we're going into spoiler territory, spoiler territory now. Alright, so no main character dies main up until part three. Spoiler. Yeah, spo- spoilers for for Ruby, and we're 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 just going in. We're going to talk about the domain right Even though it's been I don't like care. what ten years, it's been like fire. ten years, y'all. Get your get your ass together. Go watch the thing. We all know who died. Now go. So sorry. <laughs> so so the thing with her death to me, it it makes sense, but it made no sense at all. And like I'm letting it slide, and hopefully they can do something else besides the she died. Oh, uh, w- w- what's that sound on TikTok? I want to kill my mom. Uh, like that. That's that's how the kid felt to me. He's like, I'm doing this, but like I I I, I want to kill this bitch. She she killed her, and I'm like, bro, like that's so bland for me. That was re- that was like the worst. Like I I, I personally I didn't need it, but then he's like. Uh, I can't have someone else there. No uh, and, then, and then he activated his semblance, and his semblance is just like having too much That's... internal magic. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. That's the reason behind it. You fool. You fool. It, it's classic. Well, like, I, you know, I just went through this. How, I just went through this. How many times has he used it? Exactly. How many, how wait, many wait, times has he used it? Kamehameha and not use the Kamehameha. If, if you have this one move, where you have a shit ton of internal magic, what they call semblance, but you don't use it. But he just unlocked it, though. I don't care. He unlocked it, what, part five? and then He doesn't he have control over it. He's almost non-existent. After, after he unlocks his semblance, I believe the next volume is the last time he's, like, relevant. And then he just, he's there, but he's more as a side character. Because I mean, because then we went into Blake's backstory, right? Okay, I like the Blake. Blake's backstory. That's actually, why I actually really enjoyed that. Even that's though, why we had to cut it off. Even though we wasted almost an entire volume on her backstory, I. But I it was amazing. It, I it was amazing. It. I, I will take that as my Naruto filler in the group. Okay, but Athena and how Cinder did. Uh uh-uh, uh. Uh uh. I wanted the fade day one when I saw that episode come out. I just. I gotta say it. So uh, also mm. from my perspective. I didn't watch Ruby as it was coming out. I watched it la- last year. Yeah, last year. I went through all the parts. In its entirety? In, in, in its entirety, except for the soft reboot. And as I was finishing up, the last volume came out. So and then I watched that as well. The Ice, uh, ice Reboot? Queen. Yeah, the Ice Queen. Oh, you mean the Ice Queendom? Yeah, I, I, I haven't seen that. Um, we're not gonna talk about it. Like, okay, good, good, good. So don't waste my time. Good. We're, don't, don't. We're not gonna. No. Okay. Listen. <laughs> all that I gotta do is. Uh, all that I gotta say. Like, let me get this out of my head real quick. Ice cream them is more like a who? Like who? It's like you know when whenever like I hear the the fans of Avatar: The Last Airbender say, uh, "I wish we had a movie." It's like yeah, I know. I wish we had a movie. It's like and that. Mm-mm. Wait, uh, uh-uh. she she does not go here. She's like a distant distant cousin. I think I don't know. Like she's from like a different hood. I don't know her. She she goes over there. My God, no, like, we're not doing that oh, in God. reference, like Kiyoshi reference, but more so, who 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 are we throwing out there like that? M Night uh-huh. No, no, I'm just who, saying. Who are you talking about? Who are you talking no, about? No, I'm trying. Talking, you, I was trying to get the analogy. About? I was here. Okay. I just need to make listen, sure. Listen, listen, uh, Avatar The Last Airbender only has um, the Aang gang and then the Korra gang and the Colonel. Yeah. And uh-huh. we're currently in the talks of like something about Netflix or something. I don't know, some live no, action no. stuff. Um, 
doing oh. they, it was actually uh announced the other day the studio is doing two projects one Zuko's yes. getting a, a story of Reed well deserved the the well he he has a comic out just just read the comic and yeah um, no we're we're gonna get we're gonna get a, an earthbender avatar like on the next part of the cycle but until we have like more details, they're kind of just like, "Hey, yo, we're we're, we're cooking," and we're like, "Oh, great!" But how do I say this? It's like they they're starting to prep. We still don't. We still haven't felt the heat from the kitchen. We still haven't gone like, mm, "Yeah, it's cooking." You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we still haven't gotten the aromas. Like they still like prepping them. They're like making sure that the ingredients are ready so that they can start doing that crock pot. And we're like, "Yeah, it's so good." Um, so I just don't need that, another like, Mako. Okay, I don't need another Mike. I mean, Mako, all right? That's all I'm saying. Jackson. No, I said Mako. I was about to say Mike. Mm. But <laughs> another Mako. That's all I'm saying, okay? I don't need Wait, another one. Mm. That, that's why I'm still here. I'm still on my training guard mm. because of this. So, uh, going back to Ruby, right? Um, going back to Ruby, right, 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 right. So, so, uh-huh. so in the last couple of seasons, parts, volumes, whatever, yeah. uh, they did a, finally, they did character redesigns, and I, that's where to me it felt kind of flat, like, don't get me wrong, it looks really nice, but, like, Weiss never had that much hair, and to me, I, I, like, I don't know why I'm fixated on Weiss right now, but, like, she got so much hair, I'm like, that has to be a weave. I, I I have yet to see a black person, but that looks like a weave. That looks that looks like fake hair. She's always had thin hair in a ponytail. It went down to like maybe the midway of her body, right? And then randomly she gets these like big ass circles and like it cur- curviates down. I'm like how so so we're just, the pon- the ponytail went to like this weird ball and becomes something else and then goes down. No. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. It, I hate that description so much. It, to me, it was weird. It was unwarranted. It is. Moving it's on. So um, I like the redesign. And also, on. she never wore that much blue. She never wore that much blue. Her whole shtick is Ruby is red, Weiss is white, Blake is black, and Yang is yellow. And they just, they kind of like all together wearing like the whole thing and it's like I'm gonna need you to like find some cohesion between the four girls like real quick and like one of the things and one of the examples that like a lot of the fans have um, tried to issue is like you know how Ruby has her cape and it's her iconic red cape well it's like not the iconic red no more and now it's like a more faded type of, of, of red or whatever right um you can like kind of do the same for each of the girls kind of like give them like a sash or something with the respective color and trying to match it to like the corresponding outfit. Because usually Weiss would wear either really uh, like um, ivory styles of white with accents of silver or uh, soft, soft blue. And that's pretty much it. Cause it's all meant to like correspond to like her color design. And Blake was black, white, sure. The yin and the yang type of thing situation going on with her. But usually she had accents of purple and all that stuff. And like with here, it's like she's all white, mostly purple. And it's like, girl, you're supposed to be the black. Like, what? And like, you're literally the black cat. The black Looking cat, at the thing. atrocity that you're speaking of now on my phone. Because I wanted to spare myself from this. Ooh, you are no. not going to spare yourself. And then, and then they did Yang dirty. Listen, they did Yang dirty. Oh, it's like, oh we're going to talk about that? Always. What are we gonna talk about? What? I mean, she's been done dirty since season one, mm-hmm. technically. You know, even though she still got her dad. <laughs> oh, but my dad. I, I, I'm I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna play the spades as it is, especially since I can sort of relate her, to it. Li- listen, she has her her dad and her mom, so what's good? Exactly. Most of them both but, but, but like, but like her mom went rogue, right? Exactly. Exactly. My point exactly, right? How how come she's right. getting done dirty, so although she has her mom? 
So this is the original Weiss that made sense. And then we just go to this. I'm sorry. So, so Weiss again. was supposed to be our vanguard of who's better between her and Elsa. And I always said Weiss could beat Elsa any damn day. Not like so. I I understand. Like obviously, she's not in like this cold climate because where she lives is relatively cold climate. So like, okay, cool. She she's always in this mini skirt. All right, cool. Let it be. Whatever. Always this like thing of like snowflakes on the bottom, and like Juju said, the kind of like white silver with uh, the accent of blue, with like a piece of red. Right. Cool. Part of the gang. And then the redesign. The red becomes an almost nothing for, like, the earrings and the thing on her arms, which she's never worn gloves before. She's got, like, this new battle attire dress. Not a fan of it. Cool. Did she take over the kingdom and her sister died? Because I um, admit, no, like no, I said, no, in no, the no, beginning. No, 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 no. Her, her sister is uh, still very much alive. Dad, not so much, but that's... Um, no, that's my point. Drop off. I don't, dropped don't off. Don't, don't minimize it. Don't minimize it. I did remember. Oh, um, yeah. Scroll, scroll when did down. I drop off? Scroll, scroll down just a little bit more. Oh, uh, yeah. So, the three girls. Which one's the original three girls? Okay. So either the left or the right. Yeah. Oh, this. Oh no no this no. This no, right no, here. Nope no, no no no. That's that's Ice Queendom. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. I, I was going to get into that, but we're going to go to the uh, original. Uh, yeah, Yang. I, I don't mind her character design that much. I'm actually glad that they kind of did a little bit to, like, cover up her cleavage instead of kind of being out there. I was like, that's kind of unnecessary. Um, her I mean, you get it. They're in the cold, but no. Yeah, yeah. It's... I would prefer more yellow. It, it's It's okay. I mean, I, I don't have anything to say about her. Now, click on, click on Blake. Girl, they massacred <sighs> poor Blake. Oh, that Bob is not doing her best, man. <sighs> cool. So her redesign was actually a little bit too much. Um, again, the the like whole yin and yang thing that Juju said, and um, and then her like redesign has way too much purple, not enough black, and she cut her hair. I was like, ah, okay, may maybe she gave her hair to Weiss, and Weiss just dyed it white, I guess. <laughs> yes, that's super. <laughs> oh, that is actually hilarious. Oof. Oof. Okay, so, so we're done with Blake. Uh, we've done the other girls as well. All right, cool. Um, and then we go to Ruby. Yeah. We have to talk about Ruby. Like, we just have to. Like, Dave, yeah, we have to my find... poor baby girl, she did not deserve half the thing that she had done to her. Mm -mm. Like, she's no longer even bad at this point. Like, Sure, she has the access. They try to do something, but like, there's oh, a couple of uh, episodes on season geez, two that they gave them new clothes, and it scroll. managed to be better. Is that scroll? Yeah, scroll. Should be just a little bit further. And Are you talking about this down. one? Right there. No. Down, down. No, the 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 one with, with the four of them, right right next to each other. Okay, okay. Yeah, so that is them all together. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. She's finally embracing her cat self, showing out the ears. Yang still has a shit ton of hair for some bizarre reason. And this monstrosity of hair makes no sense to me. I feel like Ruby was the only one that, like, had the least change to her. But she lost, like, what made her awesome. Because she had, like, that little mini skirt that wasn't too, too... Scroll just a little bit more, Sage. Um... Nope, other side. N not yeah. Should be just a little bit further, and then you should see the one with them together. That one. What, what am I looking stop, at? Stop, 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 stop. Right next to the big picture that you already have highlighted. To the this right. One. To the right. This one. To the right. Up. Yep. Boom. 
that's that that's the beginning of the group cool now compare that to the other one where like you know weiss has this shit ton of hair where um blake cut off her hair yang got covered up cool yay and then ruby like lost her like mini poofy skirt for like these short shorts basically i mean so with yang i can sort of understand honestly her having the cleavage out it, it ain't really matter that that was just more so like okay yeah i can see what her blueprint was you, you know it, it wasn't us but it was us you know it makes sense you know countryside i'm gonna get the shit done yippee exactly but still can be classy about it all right blake I, i'm sorry it, it just seems like you, you went through the whole emo girl phase which is good which is good that's what was intended but it just did not translate well in my opinion but it's not as bad as what happened to weiss weiss uh, i'm just yeah, this monstrosity yeah, she went from white to blue from white to blue you you made her look like a disney princess but she already outdid the Disney princess she was meant to outdo. So at this point, it's like, what was the purpose? Ruby, I just feel like she grew up overall, which is great because she's the main character. And she learned, hey, you know, like everything's not all sunshine and rainbows. And that's what's showing through her attire. Same thing. Like, we've all gone through that moment where it's, uh, you know... Okay, I've snapped. Major life change. I can't wear this. I gotta wear this now. It not only says what I'm here to do, but also it's still comfortable. And I feel like losing the puffiness to just the shorts and a mini skirt, sort of, is more so like, okay, I'm here to battle, but I'm still somewhat stylish, staying true to myself. That's what that says. Weiss, again, Disney princess. She shouldn't have cut her hair for Blake. I'm just saying. Overall, Young it pretty much is similar to Ruby, which I get sibling-wise. Um, so I can sort of see that cover-up, but at the same time, still major glow-up overall because went from just raw, you know, I'm going to get the stuff handled to... I'm get it handled, but I've also honed my skill and strength, especially after her accident. That's just my my opinion, you know, going from this to this, you know. Again, I still prefer the other one. Don't get me wrong. Well, still the, prefer it. The the main thing <clears throat> is that like the Partially, this is where I don't know, and that juju would shine. Oh, click click on Salem for us for a hot second. Why? Why? Are, J J are you sure? Me. Yeah, that well, that relatively is Salem. That that's more fan art, but Salem has white hair. <clears throat> and not gonna lie, not gonna lie. I I don't understand the show anymore. Be like, don't don't get me wrong. I understand the show. I understand the point of the show, but. If she is an unkillable bad guy, you would have to, like, wish her away or wish her to a different planet or some shit. And the Book of Ashanti. You just... It, 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 it makes no sense. Shadow, you, you know this. I, I just told you that. It's Shadow. You can't just jump like that. No, don't run. Yes, Captain America, go call Doctor Strange and tell him bring me the Book of Ashanti. What part do we not get? I mean, you have to go through Wanda again first, but it is what it That's is. That's essentially what it is. Okay? We'll, I we'll mean, sacrifice another universe, alright? Tournament of power style. Whoever loses, you know, they'll get sacrificed. So we can get you, that book. You could always pull a choppy Dragon Ball and throw her in the dead zone. I ain't think about that. You know, that is a good sacrifice, too. I'm just saying. But we need that book from what Shota <laughs> said. 
You know, that <laughs> that's the best translation. That way, you, so now you sort of see where we're going with it. I'm sorry I was the one to have to do it. Since, you know, Sosa was like, you know, we're going to have to show Shadow something and, and slightly traumatize you. Yeah, essentially, you know, we, we got a Scarlet Witch on our hands. Yes. And it, it, it's very weird. And this is where the story takes a turn that we don't find out. I forget if it's volume eight or volume seven or hell, even volume six. Uh, it's right around the time of the redesign <clears throat> where we have met the villain, Salem, roughly what she looks like. And uh, come to find out, she's trying to obtain. <laughs> she's trying to obtain heaven, right? She's trying to be the one above all, right? Uh, for for my JoJo fans, they get the reference. Um, <laughs> now, so what what she's trying to do is she's trying to acquire uh, these four relics, uh, and when combined, they can bring back the brothers of good and evil and that that's actually another thing that i enjoyed from the original three parts is that they oh no sounds like exodia sounds like exodia to me exactly (laughs) so it's sort of like exodia right that's that's basically (laughs) what happened so um some some backstory um there are these two brothers the older brother is good the younger brother is evil and they are like primordials right so no one can touch them but each other the older brother loves to create while the younger brother loves to destroy they find way to have harmony in their bullshit right um and at this point in time magic is extremely prevalent in the world it's like as drinking water it's it's that common but this one girl that had access to all magic was locked away in the tower by her father sounds in, sounds uh, similar right yeah it sounds like shrek so <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. This, this one lass, right? He goes through the castle, saves her, takes her out. Not takes her out like bang bang, but more takes her out. Chi bang, chi bang, right? I mean, he he did that too, or at least attempted. Uh, he attempted we'll, to bang around all corners will, and finish the job. We 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 will get around to that in a moment. So, what ended up happening was, uh, he died young of a uh disease that there was no cure for at the time also sounds extremely familiar note like dragon ball (laughs) or any other like anime out there because it's like oh Oh, so we're gonna leave out the other events too no because i'm trying to fast forward i'm i'm trying to like spew as much for for shadow to understand why don't don't forget the side piece okay you gave him the state yeah, Don't forget so, the mac and cheese, because so the mac she, and cheese is the focal point. She can, can you find a picture of Salem before she went evil to, to show a pretty version of her? Um, mm. Just type in, uh, or try and find Salem pretty evil. So she goes to try and resurrect her lover. She goes to the older brother, which is the god of like you know life. And he's like, oh, I, I can't do that because then we will break um, the imbalance of the world. And I'm not going to do that. I was like, okay, cool, great. So she goes to the younger brother. And she tries to convince the younger brother. Be like, hey, like, you know, I, I know that you deal in death and whatnot. But, like, you know, can you save my lover? Yeah, yeah, Dude, she's hot. Smoking hot. Smoking hot. I would tap. I would still tap. So okay, can you hear me now? So, 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 Juju, Shadow, normally I wouldn't be the one to do it. Because either me or Shadow is typically sent to the corner. To the corner. No. To the corner, <laughs> indeed. To the Wait, corner, hold up. Quick question, quick question. Hold... <laughs> can you can you hear me now? Because, like, I was setting up the laptop and whatever, like, and I have, like, the headset that I use for work. Uh, but, yeah, no, uh, Sosa, to the corner, please. Uh, we, we do not simp for, like, a cosmic level destroyer. Unless of all Salem. No. Girl, she be, girl, she be spewing up. No, 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 no. She be, she be spewing out. Listen to me. I said. She be spewing out grim. We do not know what is all that simple. Hold on, let her. First iteration, I would smash. Her second iteration, I would still smash. This third one, get me the hell out of here. I don't want it. I don't want no part of it. Keep me long away. No, 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 no. Because if you, because if you smash one and two, you need to smash three. What, what's, what's one plus two? What's one plus two? Right? You Simple are. Super freak. Super freak. I, I, I know. I know, right? 
I know, right, Juju? I already had mine right next to me. I had. I was worried the day might come. Go, go on ahead. Mm. Get... You need to stop. By the way, this this was given to me with, like for like my birthday last year, and um, it came with Pikachu. Fuck yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, the OG Pikachu that, that handled the job, you know. No, but, the, uh, the Gigantamax Pikachu, but anyways, that's not the point. The point is, Sosa, you are going <laughs> You're going to the corner because like we do not simp for a cosmic lover destroyer. We do not we do not know what it's of that Salamusi. We do not know what it's of that Salamusi. Can we take it a step further? Hold, hold on. Your honor, can we take it a step further? Her name is also the state. Is I mean not the state, but Oh. A similar location of the state oh. where they had major oh. witch trials, literally verbatim. Yeah. And you oh, live oh, in the state of Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yeah. <laughs> so well, that's not... heretic, even for you. So, so oh. have you not heard of the Salem witch trials? Yes, I have. Do you know how many kids I went to? School I was like, my, my case, your honor. Mass. It is so beautiful. And then, like the locals from Salem, Mass are like, "We hate you guys," because come Halloween. Like come October, flooded, but the the people like a lot of the tourists like they're just disgusting as most tourists are. But let me get back yeah. and explain why there's three different versions of Salem. Okay, <laughs> so the first one, put put the glicky away. So the first one <laughs> is the one that like we meet in the backstory, right? Mm. Goes to the older brother. Older brother says, "I can't break the cycle of of life, nor mm. the like verbal contract I have with my younger brother." To keep the balance she goes to the younger brother younger brother does it but he was tricked and um so the older brother shows up he's like yo she came to me first and she's trying to put a like you know a, 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 a space between us and i'm telling you i'm being honest with you like don't do this and the bro young brother was like oh you're trying to trick me and i'm i'm a god and kills the dude right in front of her she's livid she tries to fight them both but the older brother uh, teleports her back to, like, his pond. There's always a pond. And for some reason, she, like, dipped inside of the pond, thus gaining eternal life. Okay? Yeah. Still where Sounds we have, familiar, right? Still where we have the first version of her. So Nobody she, got that reference? I'm, I'm moving on from the reference. So. <laughs> I didn't, so, I didn't, I didn't hear it. Good. She dipped into the pond of life and it get, and gained immortality. So, sounds familiar, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. So, she then tricks the entire world to try and wage war on the two brothers. And then the older brother says, yo, fam, I got this. Wipes out humanity. Almost literally, flick of the wrist. But because she's immortal, she can't die. And they're like, oh, now you're going to wander the earth with no one here. So she wanted to take her own life, but obviously she, she couldn't. So she was like, oh, if the one brother brought me eternal life, maybe the other one will bring me. And grant me death. So bitch tries to s dive in and die. She tried to unsubscribe herself from a life. You bought a lifetime subscription. I'm sorry. That's not how the shit works here. We she have paid nineteen ninety nine plus shipping and handling, and then she said, nah, -uh, return to sender. She's like, mm -mm, I'm not doing this. You, you didn't see the... See, this is why we read contracts, everyone. Okay, we this read, is why we read the fine. Listen, an example of reading the fine script is what's happening right now with Dungeons and & Dragons and Wizards of the Coast, okay? We're reading the fine script, and we are not here for her. Oh, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> so, after she dipped in the Evil Brothers pond, she just turned into version 2, which is the one with the red eyes, silver hair, would still smash. And through her continuous Disgusting life, for that. Even Shadow looks on with disdain, knowing. I, after learning. for that. The Salamusi. The Salamusi has a body count, and that is you not see, good. You see... You see Shadow's face, and normally he's the one that goes to the corner. Uh, so while, you made this man turn off his door. Living her quote unquote best life, her lover is constantly reincarnating, constantly reincarnating. So it doesn't. Oh matter. yes. 
So if he dies, like, you know, when he's in his early 20s, it doesn't matter. He'll reincarnate and then continue to live his life, which is a sad part because when he reincarnates his old life and his new life, it's it's like Diavolo from uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's two people in one body. It's two souls in one body until the new person fully realizes, like, hey, this is what I got to do, and then the past life just like fades away not even that, that not that, even that, that. that the past happen. life the past life ends up consuming the new soul oh that's how it is yes yes yeah. uh that's why we're having so much like a hard time with oscar which is in this version of like the current style of ruby um the new vessel for the old the first lover to salem and he is Ospin, and like the thing is, Ospin is the name for all of them. It's like a weird avatar type of situation because like they get reincarnated. However, they get reincarnated in the new body with a previous soul, with a personality, and everything else. With how, with who knows how long of a time that this body has had to mature and be like its own individual, only to then realize, hey, I have a second soul inside my heart. But not only that, that other second soul wants to completely eradicate everything that I am to live my life in this one to try to to try to kill the other Salamusi that is currently out there and trying to do all those that damn bits. And I'm like, like, damn, poor Oscar. And like he he was like a 15 year old kid. He is a 15 year old kid during like the transcourse though. He was like, like 12. No, I'm sorry, kids. No, the he's like 15. Easy. Well, regardless of his age, he's somewhere within teenage or preteen. And again, I'm sorry, kids, but the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. You gonna have it to really get it. It really ain't. It really ain't. I'm just kind of sad about Oscar. Like he's eventually gonna get consumed by Ospin. And for what? And for what? Yeah. We don't really know what's gonna happen this next season. And like, listen, if we're gonna talk, talk, we're gonna talk it out. Are we gonna open with that? Are we gonna? We we have to eventually talk about it. This this year is gonna get released. We don't know when, but it's gonna be this year. Oh no, yeah. Have not given. <clears throat> they give a date? Here? No, there, there's no date. This is the last thing that they have. They haven't added any. I, I literally was like scouring for ten minutes trying to find. All oh, right, because of the controversy, girl. A tea. I want the tea before we watch this. Uh, okay, so you want the tea first, and then we watch the thing. Okay, so here's the here, allegedly. <laughs> I, I was watching this thing while y'all were talking. I ain't gonna listen. sit here and lie. Okay, so listen. Here's here's what I got, right? So the T is that a lot of animators and a lot of employees from RTW, which was Rooster Teeth or whatever, are, like, jumping ship. But not only jumping ship, like, a lot of allegations of, like, misconduct, mishandling of funds, uh, mistreatment to the animators, uh, even some of the voice actors and everything, like, they're like straight Mappa. up dipping. What? It, it kind of sounds like MAPPA, because, like, when, when you think of MAPPA Studios, uh, people that did the JJK movie and the JJK series, they, yeah. like, their employees, they can't see their own family. Like, I thought it was a joke. It's actually a fact. No, no, but, like, here's... Okay, that's that's, like... Something hardcore else. but like uh, that's like something else here is like actual allegations of like um inappropriate touching and all that other stuff it's not like they're being overworked it's like they're being overworked underpaid molested doing the whole damn thing uh like racism all that, all that stuff like it's going off and it's going wild and like some of the animators key animators decided to you know what we're gonna jump ship because it's like not doing the thing that we want to do and like we don't know what's going to happen with Volume 9. That's, like, the situation. That's why I was like, wait, it's out? Like, she she has a date? Because that exploded November, December, and, like, early January. And that's one of the reasons. By the way, go watch the last video from Judgmental Creator. By the way, gang, gang, what's up? Love you, ma. Um, it's because she goes on detail. It's like, yo, it's going off. And, like, a lot of the things is, like, even the voice actors for, like, the girls are currently in, like, a divide. Because, like, they don't know what to do. They don't know what's going on. And, like, a lot of the decision financially-wise is also, like, being mishandled all throughout. It's not like they're being overworked and they're still doing and producing the thing. It's, like, 
it just got got into such a degree of god got in this that they don't even know what's gonna happen like a lot of key people inside of the team it's i they they just completely jumped ship they throwing everything out of the water like everything like all the dirty laundry and all the stuff is being put out to air a lot of people are seeing like the misconduct or whatever like even one of the main animators and whatever like the producers of the show and whatever they'd be like ah yeah i got paid i'll be doing like all this tesla type of thing or whatever and it's like isn't that money from the show for the show what you doing with that funds like where you going with that money where you going with that coin it's like Dude, you running off with that coin, and that coin is for your show, which needs it, because let's, mm, girl, let's be honest, you're not exactly producing crisp animation no more, and like, we just don't know where it's happening, we don't know what's going on, but for like a lot of people, it's like, hey, yo, this is the tea, I'm not gonna mess with that, whatever, but like, the Ruby fandom in a, as a collective those who have been in the trenches, those who have been hovering, those who have just been like, hey, what's going on? You guys good? You need some water? And then dipping out. We're all like this. What's going to happen? Because, like, as the production sequences and all that other stuff started going off, we would be good. We would be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, like, few months or every few weeks, we would get, like, a crumb or something. And, like, <clears throat> Here you go, information. I'm like, oh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And we'll keep that in file. But, like, right now, it's like, oh, girl, because this is this just ting too much. Like, a lot of people don't know what's going to happen for, the like, the Volume 9. Because the situation has escalated into such a degree. That I believe there's a couple of lawsuits and everything just about to happen. Girl, yeah, it, full on It's tea. looking like Rick and Morty, but a little bit worse. Yo. Wait, what happened with Rick and Morty? So the, yeah. Uh, one of the two creators, because it's Justin and whatever his face is, <clears throat> Justin Worland is coming under things for, like, sexual misconduct. So, uh, and it's like, as Rick and Morty, the last episode of season six dropped, that came out. That, that allegation came out. So, like, Rick and Morty might officially be done, because that's the dude that voices, if I'm not mistaken, he voices Morty. So on top of that, the Morty and um, also they, uh, I think they like just launched a game high on life or whatever it's called, and um, that guy does some of the voice voices for the game, and I just find it <clears throat> very interesting that like going into 2023, right? So like you know 2022 going into 2023, here we are recording January, and it's probably gonna drop like roughly March, March ish. Um, because like how much content we actually have out and about, yay! Because we 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 like to prepare and be ready. <clears throat> so some of this stuff like might be resolved by the time this episode comes out, but in the fact that like a lot of people at the end twenty twenty two said, you know what, fuck this shit, <laughs> right? Oh, and left because they're like, oh, we gonna leave this in twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty three is gonna be a better year for all of us. <laughs> Yeah. See. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because now I got to pick my violence real quick with everybody who been saying this stupid. All right. I get it was supposed to be motivational for the past 10 years. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ugh. Are you showing us something? Oh, no, Girl, I, I'm just taking away, the I'm taking away the background because I need you to understand what I'm saying, okay? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? L listen. listen. <laughs> that new year, do me bullshit, has not worked. Stop saying it. Oh. Oh oh. New year, same me, get some improvements, and let's keep it pushing. All right? That's a fact. That's a fact. All right? Don't, don't, don't look anywhere else. All right, I know you see the rest of the discords. I need you to understand that I'm going to be there when you say that to somebody and they think to themselves, you know, I know this person lying. <laughs> yeah, I, I was the one that put you on the spot. Words from our sage. Uh, what? Oof. I... Did you just disconnect? Oh, okay, never mind. <clears throat> what is... It's... What the fuck? <laughs> 
Ooh. I am so. Ooh, ooh, she felt. Ooh, wait, hold on, let me. Mm, mm, I hydration. Some, I have some pent up anger. I know I have anger issues, but but like certain things just need to be said now because I, I feel like there's no need for the cut cards no more. Not not in this case. I'm gonna just say it. You know, it's, Rick and Morty's done. We don't know what's gonna happen with season nine of Ruby. All right, let's be honest there, right? Solar Opposites, we only got two seasons. That was smacking amazing. We don't know if we're going to get that. What about Little Demon 2? Because it's all under the same creators for Rick and Morty, Little Demon, and Solar Opposites. All the same creator. So and it's only 15 days into the new year. I'm just trying to find some good happiness aside from family. And trying to have a good, decent paying job, go on these trips to be like, okay, I'm gonna actually sit at home, be a family person, watch some TV, get some proper rest. I can't do that. I can't go Ames to sleep. Today, let Ace. us see is violence and movies and on TV. But where are those good old fashioned values on which we used to rely? There ain't no more family guy as well. Uh, he probably gonna get canceled too. Uh, hey, Sage, exactly. hey, hey, Sage, guess what? What? New year, new me. Yo, so kind of kind of like moving moving back like, to like, what? the whole like controversy. Did you not thing. see my vein popping? <laughs> no. I, it's, it's, it's wow. Um, but no, in, in, the, in the air of like controversy, right? It's... <laughs> uh, stay this, with this us, Juju, really stay, stay with us. That's a great way to start the year. Um, but in, like, the air of, like, controversy and whatnot, yeah, things like Solar Opposites and all this other stuff. And this is something that, like, I came to realize a few years ago. I never watch shows that are not at least two-plus seasons. So if, if a third season isn't announced, I normally will not watch the show. Which, it, it, it sounds weird, right? It sounds weird, but I stand on that. Because in the early 2010s, a lot of good shows were out. They had good plot, good pacing, good everything. And then they just got canceled because the viewership wasn't there. And like Inside Job on Netflix, I saw some clips. I was like, yo, this shit looks tight. I'll watch it. I never got around to watching it ever. And they left season one on a cliffhanger for season two. And then Netflix canceled it. And then they canceled Blockbuster, Warrior Nun. And a whole bunch of other shit. And then I'm looking at it one season, one season, one season, one season, two seasons, one season, one season. I'm like, oh, it's because we we didn't learn that, yeah, you need to have, like, these followings in that first season to make it impactful, to carry it on. Like, Ruby, that first season with the trailers and all that was very impactful. And greenlit all the other ones, basically. Because they did a really good marketing strategy. They um, dropped the trailers first. And... Keep in mind, the first trailer had no voice acting. Not because they didn't have, like, the voice actor and everything in mind. It's because they they wanted to see if that would capture the attention of the audience. So with Trailer Red having such a good reception to it, it was just the bomb. It's like it popped off. It did all that it had to do. The action was there. The music, the theme, the... The timing, everything, everything was just, like, perfect to the point At once they saw that it went viral. And a lot of people, a lot of fans, young teenagers at that time, young adults, everybody, were just like, hey, yo, that, give me that, feed me, go, mm-hmm. put it on the plate, let's go. Everybody was just like, yeah, pretty much, pretty much, yeah. A lot of the shows right now, and this is no shade to any other creator out there, this is no shade to, like, any other, like, studio or whatever because we never know who's going to listen to the otaku outsiders on whatever platform you're listening to your podcast we like we we love all anime and me as d-dog i say mappa you are doing too much and work on one project at a time thank you very much continue bitch we're not gonna get beef with mappa i have no i I love jujutsu kaisen i think it's great it is a work of art but why am I waiting two right. years for Attack on Titan? God, why am I waiting two years for Attack on Titan? It makes listen, no sense. Part, listen, if my if my swings if my swings, I'm jumping off the ship, okay? <laughs> if my swings, I'm jumping off the ship, okay, girl? Because I like my animes. 
God. I, I like I, my I, animes. And right now, I started watching and I binge read everything from Campfire Cooking on Another World with an Upsurf Skill. <laughs> and I'm like, this is cute and I love it, okay? If Mapa decides to cancel everything and they swing for us and I don't get another episode of that shit, I'm swinging on you, ho. I'm booking a ticket. I'm beating your ass. <laughs> anyway, that's not even what I wanted to say. <laughs> no, you said animation studios. Um, like, we, we love what to you... see the work. But we just want. It's an umbrella quality. term, you ass. <laughs> That's like an umbrella you term. You immediately ass. after Mappa, okay? Once you said all animation studios, and you came after that one, I had to think to myself. I was like, am I d directly affected? And this is where me being mostly a TCG person comes into play. My beef with Bushy Road is already known to the world. Everybody knows. I even went out to California and I said, hey, yo, you, you just need to bring back Future Car Buddy Fight. That's it. That's my only issue. Aside from that, you're doing great. I want to invest in stocks. Hurry up and get on the rest of the world's proper uh world stock. I'm going to buy the investments right then and there. Okay? Yo, dude, so remember, you can like, pick we, that B. We, we you can pick that B. So, so I, I can cut this part out. Y'all do remember that, right? I mean, yes, we, we, I know. We still not doing but live, you can... live shows yet, which we can you... do in the future, not today. Yeah, but you see, here's the thing, right? You can pick that beef with Mappa, because I'm still over here with Bushy Road. All right, I still got my pro wrestling contract. I still got my card fight. We good. We good, because we know we dominating. All right. So, Juju, uh, as you were saying. Uh... Anyways, as I was saying, you know. <laughs> Jesus Cristo amado, señor. Anyways, as I was saying, it's like, <laughs> as a part of the marketing strategies, you need to, like, offer, like, a little bit of a trailer, a little bit of a taste, you know? Like, make sure that you got, like, something. Like, that we can say, like, mm -hmm, that makes you, you have quaint. And then we can go off from there. Like, you know, give me a taste. Give me, like, a palate cleanser type of thing. Don't just drop me a trailer, like, oh, my name is insert random character name here and this is insert random story here and i am in this world and what ruby didn't do that ruby didn't even say the name of the world till like episode one season one period like are you kidding like ruby just went like hi we're gonna fight some werewolves in this forest to some catchy music with some string instruments and whatnot, you're going to see this little girl girl with a big ass scythe that is three times her body weight, three times her size, swing it all over the place. Oh, wait, she has superpowers. Guess what she has? Super speed. <gasps> and it's like, really? And then they go off and in and in and all that, dude. You know, she has a recoil from the jump. She has everything. Everything just ah, beautifully choreographed. Then, boom, we got a uh, white trailer. And we have the first vocalization inside of the song, but it's like nothing too much. And then we start getting lyrics with like, you know, voices in there. And like, oh, okay, we, we can we can do this. And it's their own way of like, you know, inserting here their main singer for like every other track of Ruby. And like that family do the, the business. Hold on, let me go look her up. Oh, uh, I'm tired of going through this. Yeah, same, same here. Uh, but Shadow, see how you're like the outside on this one and don't like really have that much uh, besides like the information that like we're telling you uh, and that like we've gone through. What do you think of everything that's like kind of like going on from your perspective as someone that has not seen uh, Ruby? I think I'm one of those ones that will also like it before the redesign. Because after the redesign, it mainly looks like they stepped into the world of Tales of Exilia. Tales of what now? Tales of Exilia, which is a PlayStation game. Come on, Shadow. I know you see it. I know you see it. Yeah! I mean, I mean the blonde literally looks like Mila Maxwell. Who? Oh? Bitch, that is Tales of Exile. <laughs> Still. Right? Yeah. Freaking come coming up with weird ass names, but the spelling of it is so like Asia. Bitch, that's Asia. <laughs> but still. But still, the, the the redesign looks like they just stepped into that world. 
No, that definitely uh, makes sense. And uh, honestly, we'll see what happens. Now, they did do like this weird soft reboot. I haven't seen it. But via what Juju says, uh, I don't need to see it. Uh, and I shall take his word that I don't need to watch it. The Ruby Ice Kingdom, I thought it was just going to be a movie that was just going to recap a lot of things. But Juju, seeing how you've seen it, and you're the only one that's seen it, uh, cause Listen, I'm all right. Let's let's just let's just say it like it is. It's an okay attempt. However, it has been pointed out by the fandom in total, both the good part of the fandom and like the semi-toxic parts of the fandom. Like everybody just pretty much agrees. Um, it was uh lackluster. Let's just say it like it is, because. The first few parts, first few episodes in the beginning was pretty cool. We were, like, pretty much excited about it. We were like, yeah, this looks pretty cool. This pr looks pretty well made. However, the attempt to create this own unique little narrative, because it's pretty much like, oh, by the way, we're just going to do, like, our own little take. We're going to do, like, our own little story here and we're gonna have fun, and it's not meant to be taken so literally, like, ah, oh, this is, like, the brand new canon, yeah, 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 and try to go with it. It's, like, it's it's not that, but you ended up complicating things mm. at one point, mm. then you ended up just making, pulling focus for, like, everything is in the point of view of Weiss, and then she it ends up not being the big bad but you end up making another entire new big bad blake gets in the point they it's like you start seeing halfway through like this whole story that they just basically had no plan you just went like we're gonna toss it to the air see what works and then once we get somewhere i guess we're gonna have a little bit more fun it's like listen what you putting your glasses on for? Because <laughs> he's oh, now what, seeing what? the fine print once no, 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 you no, no, said no, it. No, 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 continue, continue, continue. It, it has some uh, with, with, with what I'm going to say, but don't don't distract me. Continue. Okay. Continue. Oh, anyways, it's like you lack the cohesion from the story. Because, like, if you were going to make a, a new story, cool, we'd support that. We're, we're, as a fandom and as a collective, we're also starving for, like, new things. Things that it's like, oh my god, just give to us. However, once we have it in our hands and we start seeing all this like potholes, inconsistency, what the heck? What did you do with this character? Why are we even dragging along Dawn? You know, because that's like another thing, like both in the fandom, both sides of it, like uh Ruby fandom and outside of the Ruby fandom, it's like, why is John pulling so much focus? And that's one of the saddest part because it's John's voice actor is one of the main producers of the show as well. So it kind of feels like he's saying, "So you didn't know that? You didn't know that, bruh?" On John's voice actor, Ruby to me is very new. I know it's been out for a decade at this point. Okay, but like, listen, one of the I reasons why I it not even a year ago. Okay, listen, one of the main things that why majority of the fandom dislikes John, I don't. I think he's cool in a weird way. He's like the Soka trying to be the Soka of the group. Um, Like, one of the reasons why a lot of the people hate John in, like, such a passionate extent is because they feel like he's a self-insert. And he feels like he's not really doing or contributing a lot. Which, granted, I can say that he's not contributing a lot to the story, but that's not his fault it's more like like the writer's fault because they just don't know what to do with like the story in a in a weird sense like listen we understand that monty ohm's passing is it's essentially what uh uh handicapped the show in a way because monty ohm basically is in charge of the animation was in charge of the choreography. He pretty much made the world from scratch just to justify having this badass fighting animations and all this choreography and all this other thing. And we'll be like, yeah, 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 yeah. And we're wrapping up with him. However, the thing is that Ice Queendom ended up reflecting normal Ruby. 
and not in the best way. It ended up reflect, reflecting Ruby and being mirror images of it because start out strong. You have us. You have our interests. You piqued us with nostalgia on the first few episodes. And we're like, yes. However, even on that first episode that we're seeing Ice Queendom and we're like, oh, okay, this pays homage to the first episode. And we're still like, hmm. First episode is better? And like, it is true. Like, when you compare them side to side, the Ice Queen, the animation, sure. Hey, maybe it's a product of like 3D versus 2D. But here's the thing in 2D, you can get away with so much more. You can give them so much more flair and personality that maybe you can't do with 3D animation. So, we ultimately. Uh, okay, so it's going to be like a big, big caliber because we've seen what 2D animation is about. We've seen what they can do, especially considering we're going with a full on anime route. We're not going with like the Americanized, Westernized animation media type of thing. We're not doing that. We're doing like full on. You're going to go 2D. You're going to go with animation studios. We expect good stuff from you. Like, hell, we've seen good stuff from, like, just simple snippets of animation for, like, maybe a video game, maybe, like, a commercial, maybe this, maybe that. So, like, we... Bar was low, but, bitch, what the fuck? You know what I mean? It's like, damn, girl, you you fumbled that bag. And, like, we started seeing the things on the first episode, and we're like, you know what? We're going to give it the benefit of the doubt. But then as you go through the story and you realize, can I, can I go into it in a way? Can I go in? Or the thing is, and here's like one of the things: the plot starts because Ice got infected by a new type of grim. This type of grim doesn't hurt you in the physical sense; it will trap you inside of your mind, feed you nightmares until it can grow and essentially rip out of your body. So it has like a gestation period, type of like an alien like, type of situation, yeah. right? Yeah. Are you really? Yep. Yeah, that's that's literally what happened. So, like, the thing is, Weiss and John got got. And, like, the basis of this whole thing is because, you know, in the first episode that they got into the forest, right? And they're fighting off, like, the king, raven, whatever, the, the nevermore. Uh, and so, right? Weiss got got by this Grim, and so did John. However, because John had such low aura... Remember, Aura is essentially like the life force and essence that guards you and all that stuff, and is, ba is the basis of of John's semblance. Uh, the nightmare was really quick on the feeding because he didn't have a lot of reserves on it yet. So we had a whole stick where Team Juniper, Piero is alive, my homegirl, love you. Uh. And they had to rescue John. And that's how we ended episode three. And we're like, all right, yeah, cool. But then we see that Weiss got God too. And it's like, oh, okay, so this is going to affect Weiss. Basically, the whole thing for the Ice Queendom is to justify why Weiss is such a unrepenting bitch. What? Because, because the Grim was projecting her worst part of herself and when the people who were the closest to her because remember this is still early ruby this is basically ruby starting out and they forming that team bond ice queendom is meant to justify why wise is such an unrepenting bitch one why she had racist tendencies towards blake two and three to justify the bonds of team ruby further Here's the thing. So first thing first. Unnecessary what... filler in something that didn't require filler just to give me clean animation. Sound like somebody's uh, son, don't it? Like what? it sound like somebody's son, don't it? Whose son? Whose son? Oh, don't even go there. Ah. All right. All right. Are oh, we talking about Dragon Ball? You're a queer. No. I, I don't... Uh, ooh, girl, mm -mm, no, 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 listen. Back to what I was saying, right? So anyways, like, you see how Weiss thinks of a lot of people because when they go into her mind palace type of thing to try to deal with the with the Grim, most of their weaponry and most of their outfit or whatever are a reflection of how Weiss sees them. 
and Ruby's weapon is all backwards. It acts like a snowboard or whatever because she sees Ruby as a kid. So it's like it's like a toy. It's, it's like thing, right? And Yang is the only one with like the most resembling of like her unique tire or whatever. But it's just like it's very discombobulated even. And I try keeping up like with the animation. And one of the things that I do is like I watch the animation and then I go um, into YouTube and watch what other creators uh, kind of say about it to try to see like if my train of thought is justified. There's not even a whole overarching plot where like um, there's a bunch of mini Weisses just running around reflecting her childhood and happiness or whatever. Her family trauma is represented in the thing as well. Her father o over uh, bearing the meaning and all this stuff. So it's like they try to justify this by being like I'm just rich girl traumatized by my parents and all this other thing, but it's like lost in translation. Just a lot of things all together did not make this story cohesive enough to like justify it. And that's one of the things why a lot of the fandom is like, eh. like at the end of the day, like it feels very meh. Even like at some points of the battle animations or whatnot, you also feel the lagging as they're being animated and all that and it's like girl what happened like mm, you fumble that bag and like a lot of the a lot of the fandom in total is like listen ice queen was a thing i guess it's if you liked it you liked it if you didn't it's, it's like it's eh, we're stuff. pretty much How used to it Pretty much, pretty much, and like they tried, they really, we have to give them props, they did try, however, um, I wouldn't have hyped it as much as they did going in, I'm gonna be very honest, I wouldn't have hyped it at all, that would just like be like, hey, this is like non-canon, and it's just like a little project for animation, just because we wanted to like touch base with that, but like, not the correct move. Uh, oh no, I totally agree with on, what Juju say. said. And it, and that's like so weird because like why is this Snow White? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Why is this Snow White? Like why are you going through all this? Like uh... they went through three Disney princesses. Let's be honest, right? We have Snow White over there. We have Elsa and we have Cinderella. And you took all three of them and they were good separate. And then you fucked it all up. And I'm a Disney child, so I get to say it because I I, I grew up watching Disney. You wanna know how you take like, three good you things? You wanna know what's and you fuck it all up? And you wanna know what's like the most ironic thing? Cinderella is Cinder. Exactly. Cinderella is Cinder. Ruby's meant to be Red Riding Hood. Uh, Blake is meant to be uh, Puss and Boots, and Yang is meant to be Goldilocks. They make no reference to like their fairy tales. No, oh. they do, but they don't. It's only for those who actually like see it, which is why I'm like, okay, Weiss, I need you to pick one and stay with one. What you was pick doing a was struggle, great. Girl. <laughs> Indeed. Pick a struggle. Can't have all like girl. You're already white and and powerful. Pick a struggle. You can't just be like greedy and try to get everything. She had her competition oh, hold on, hold on. with Elsa, on the thing and she white, outdid her. That's why I switched my room a while ago because remember Juju how how I had my like two wall two doors before, and you're like mm, yeah that the, those doors look like they have privilege. I was like ooh, <laughs> can't have that. <laughs> can't have that. <laughs> so uh, my my room's pretty clean. Uh, besides my bed, that's mm. that. So there's the door that's. Thank God I clean up my room, room, though. And thank God I clean up my room, and you don't see most of the messes. Like, you but know, but like you know, know. again, Weiss had her competition. She was supposed to be taken from her fairy tale, all right. And at the time, what came out from Disney? Frozen, Let It Go. That was the the peak of its. That's what it was, if I'm not mistaken. I could be He's wrong. He's always meant to be Snow White. He's not yes. meant to be Elsa. Snow White, no, no, Elsa, no. it doesn't matter. No, 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 no. Weiss was Ruby, really they, meant they, to they be don't have Snow White. They fairy tales White. anymore. They, they don't have, like, fairy tales like what would be uh, Because Snow Disney White. is now trying to address the no, issues in no, family no, households. No, 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 well, partially. But, uh, yeah, because Disney's suing everyone, uh, like, Etsy shops that, like, 
they they make things like in kind of like you know oh it's a knockoff mickey or whatever people are being sued now um but that's oh. that uh, that's not the point yeah they're, saying, they're so. trying to break family so, homes by addressing and, problems they should have not addressed in in the world of ruby though they don't have like they don't have the fairy tales of their world they don't have the fairy tales that like would be more common like um not cinderella but uh like the little mermaid and things like that because like that's kind of that shit's kind of lost to time one because all of humanity was so that's one and then two is that like there's so much grim that they destroy all the books so unless things were digitized which in this world they live in a somewhat digital world which i find very weird that they have like all these right, calm it down digimon no, calm it down no, digimon that got nothing to do no, with it it's this. not like digital world but like you know what i mean like they they have phones they have almost like smartphones there but their they communication do. but their communication sucks because they have like these three towers and it's like wait hold, hold up no one in the history of neverdom thought to put a satellite up in that bitch and they tried it with season like six or seven but then they got denied they got denied because the dude went freaking mental and said, nah, it's going to be my name in the sky. I'm like, who? what is wrong with you? Just, just let it be done. And it's like they're fighting that. And because like, oh, they fumbled the bag. Oh, they couldn't commit. They couldn't commit with a narrative. And then they dropped it. One of the things that the Ruby fandom as a whole, we got kind of spoiled on and that's something that i can uh honestly say is we had a good back and forth and back and rep rapport i guess is what you call it in english with like the creators and whatnot and we're like yeah you know like we kind of didn't like this and they would oftentimes go ahead and be like oh they didn't like this and like one of the things was like that we didn't understand kind of like the struggle with ironwood that's the guy's name that you're looking for and like, why are you suddenly being all bad guy and whatever? And like, oh no, he's meant to be the villain. It's like, okay, then we don't believe that he's the villain. So then they went to the extreme degree that they did. And they try to justify that his semblance is that once he has something in his mind, he can't let it go. It's like, what the hell? Wasn't he possessed though? No, he's he was never possessed. No, That's oh, I was problem. thinking that. I was thinking of somebody else. My bad. No, Who? The, the, somebody the, else. The general with like the weird gray, almost sideburns and shit. Yeah. He, that's he, he has, like, a mechanical arm. Yeah, that, that, that that's that like that kind of bothered me, right? Is he like the girl that is like part robot, part human? Any? Or... No, he's he's uh he's uh he has some mechanical parts. He has mechanical enhancements, but he's not like Penny. Aesthetics. Penny's a full on android. Yep. And he's a full-on no, android no, made. Spoilers. Listen, what? What? No, listen. no, 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 no. Okay, say. I did not um, just hear. Because now okay. this is like. So you know that story? Penny's based on Pinocchio, right? Yes. I want to be okay. a so what happens? So, what happens in Pinocchio? So, so what you're telling me is Penny. What Bonnie... happens in Pinocchio? Say. <laughs> I'm a real boy. I'm a real boy. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. So let me put it to you this way. Anyway, hold. Oh, that was a that's a weak as tongue pop. My, I'm sorry. My, I need to re, I need to correct that for my homosexuality rights. Okay. So the part is, <laughs> if I don't do a correct tongue pop while I'm being recorded, I might get my gay license revoked. Anyways, point is, um. She becomes the new Winter Maiden. Oh yeah. And yeah, yeah. there, um, and then there's, Hold and on. then there's this whole fight. Yeah, go ahead. So, so Shadow, uh, th this part we didn't talk about, so Shadow understands a little bit better. Oh there right, are, the maidens. Yeah, there's uh, a, a story that, like, I, again, I I think the original like part of the original trilogy, I'll call it. This is why we don't tap the unholy new sea. Yeah, so the musty uh, must not be tapped. So, the the wizard, which is an older version of Oz, Ozpin, he granted part of his magic to these four girls that are sisters. You have the fall, winter, spring, and summer maidens. 
Who's you the know mother? Who the Caleb. No. 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 No, because yeah. they had kids. So four daughters. Yeah. They're four daughters. They had kids, but in one of the things that Ozpin was trying to do, she murked like everyone, including him and the girls. So, she got reincarnated. Those are their daughters. Yeah, the yeah. Spiritually, yes, they are his daughters, but physically, n not really. But not the point. Not the point. Not the point. So we know who the fall uh, maiden is because uh, it was shown. It was shown the 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 girl that did the bullshit was shown. We know who the winter maiden is towards the end because she was also shown, um, which was mm -hmm. like this old lady, and they were just trying to keep her alive. And Weiss's older sister was the only one allowed to see her so that way she could, like, you know, have the power. So that way, like, when she died, she would think of that girl because that's the only girl she's seen for X amount of years. Let's, let's clarify. The maidens have inhuman amount of actual magic. Not their semblances, but magic. Uh, think of... The three categories, okay? So you have auras, which is your natural energies and the things that keep you protected. They can heal minor wounds and restore you and whatnot. It's like a, semblances a is your... It's semblances, yeah. Semblances is basically what your own aura translates to you and gives you your unique ability, trait, and or power. So you have Ruby uh, herself, which is now mass... Movement and allocation, it's not super speed. She basically deconstructs her mass into a flurry of rose petals and zooms around at supersonic speed, taking everything with her without correlating their weight because she breaks them down at the molecular level and then she can move around. This was not explained on volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, nor 5. This was explained like somewhere around volume 7 because this bitch didn't even know her semblance! Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weiss has inherited their, uh, a blood, a kekegenkai, a kekegenkai type of semblance, right? There we go, there we go. There we I, go. Forgot how to, I forgot how to say that word in English. There we she, go. she has a kekegenkai that is passed down by her lineage. Oh, um, okay. Apparently, no. only, only women, apparently only women in the family are only, only the music. Only the lady folk can have the semblance. No, 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 only the lady folks have it. Not that they're allowed, is that they have it. Uh, Men folk do not have it in her family. Basically, they have. Bro, what the hell was what? Not my my camera just like got weird, so I'm just trying to like get it to refocus. Girl, I thought right. you were trying to exercise me with some kanji action. I was like, what, girl, what? <laughs> oh, a Akatsuki. Okay, never mind. Weeb. Anyways. <laughs> uh, oh, Taku, please. Um... Anyways, um, so basically, she has uh, what is called glyphs about it it's just runes it's just runes she has the ability to create runes and give the runes unique property or whatever the hell she wants she has time dilation she has time speed up she has the ability to uh attract and repel objects uh which is her favorite mode of transportation she can make bases she she can do a whole lot of things it's one of the most powerful semblances in the show but it's also one of the most powerfully underused semblances in the whole damn show blake has the semblance of shadows but a decimal of a second blaze can uh, blake can leave behind a clone projection of herself to move during the more advanced parts of the show the clones actually have a mass and she can use them to either propel herself attack with the in tandem with her but the thing is that the clones are like a second they're like oh, boop, 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 it, and it kind of looks like, like a mirage shinjutsu from naruto that that's how she uses it she uses it it's, as, a, as a substitution the it's water now weird. Uh, yes and no it's more so like the mid-range between substitution and in a clone um, Exactly. It's like when Naruto was first learning how to do it, you know, like he could think about it this way. She makes a shadow clone jutsu, but she but no chakra to maintain the shadow clone jutsu for more than like three seconds. Pretty much it. Exactly. And it's then, Naruto before they attack. One, one at yeah. a time. She can't do more. Well, she, the, no, she she only uses one. At no, a time, she can right? she can she can do one at a time. She can she can only do one, one at a time. But one like, at she a time. Does it, 
she does it so quick that it might look like more. But anyways, and then we have Yang. The stupidest one. I hate hers. Yang it's has... One. It's a weird... It's a weird semblance. It's a weird thing. It's like... She the more damage accumulates she takes, damage she over can... time. Yeah. She's essentially meant to be the brawler slash tank and bruiser of the, of the squad. The more physical damage she takes, her body absorbs the kinetic force, right? Into her aura, which is meant to be one of the heftiest auras in the squad, in the show. But lately, it feels like any... And she's out of the count. It's like, girl, what the hell? Like, you had more stamina on the first volumes. Make it make sense. You're older now. You should have more capabilities of that thing. Well, I mean, she, she anyways, did get her arm. So, so yeah. She had no aura to protect her for. That's not the point. The point is her semblance. We're not talking about her aura, girl. Keep it together. So, anyways, basically what she do... <laughs> Basically, what she do is, once she has enough damage, she can go into an overdrive mode of overheating the damage that she has, maintain it all throughout her muscle and all, and all that stuff, and repel the kinetic force that she has accumulated into powerful, powerful hand-to-hand -hand combat. Equals to her punches. Basically, the more kinetic force that she has, the more kinetic force that she can go back. Like, as long as she activates her assemblies. But, like, it's weird because we don't, we no longer know her semblance is up and whatever. Because it used to be like a big flary thing. Her hair would get on fire and whatever. It's like the physical representation of her aura. So, she would go Super Saiyan. Uh, what's T? So, All that's pretty much force. it. Pardon? I said it's essentially similar to like Mirror Force. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's like... Eh, so basically, Maidens... Um, have hyper magic in a way. Maidens can only be female, and maidens can pass down their full on power, full on range of power and abilities to another woman upon the time of death, so long as they're thinking of that particular woman as they die. Yeah, so, um, so in a way, it's a quick they... let's find this maiden and let's. Keep her in captivity or make sure that she's protected and start making a, a new protege for her. For the moment that this one dies, we have another one. Yeah. Like a quick succession. Yeah. Um, and in the, That's the avatars. Yeah, kind of like the avatar thing. So it's mm -hmm. more like um, an innate domain from Jujutsu Kaisen where like uh, Sukuna and Yuji are in. Though like time is still passing normally, for them time has like frozen and they're inside of like their own like they're talking to each other. That that's kind of how like the passing of powers is. The world's like you no know, moving, however slow, while that transfer of power power is. Um, it's happening, yeah. And like it's still happening. So I, I found that interesting. Um, we see it happen. We One. only see we only see that like innate domain once or twice. Once. That Just like, once. we we don't we don't normally see it uh, because it's and it's like really heavy spoiler territory. But, we uh, didn't get to see it the first time that we had the maidens be brought up because essentially what Cinder did was she snatched away the powers before they could even be snatch uh, uh, snatch snatch your soul we can all snatch well, basically and then when we found out the spring maiden turns out she had already previously met the spring maiden on her own and it's uh, Yang's mama. Yang's mama is a spring maiden. And, you know... But that's because... You ain't what? gonna touch Yang's mama because she a world grade A fighter. Yeah. She, but then we have the winter. She's like, uh, uh, she's like a Kage level fighter. Or a... a, a um, she's a still not level. able to better. Yeah, because... Kind <sighs> of, kind of, kind of. Because, like, she leads this, like, group of bandits. And though, like, she has her semblance and whatnot... She actually murked the previous Spring Maiden because she couldn't really control her powers. So she kind of did the whole, like, capture shit. And then, Takashi. And then murked her. Yeah, mm -hmm. ba basically. And then she took the powers. So we know who the fall and spring, we meet the winter one, which is held by the people. And then Penny gets the powers. Penny is about to die. 
Cinder's about to take her powers to become like double strong, right? Simple math. One plus one is two, so she should be double strong. Um, and we have yet to meet the other maiden. I believe it's the spring, uh, not spring summer Mar- maiden. So it, it it's really weird. And depending on where the show goes, it's also going to be really weird because Cinder is part human, part grim, and Ruby's semblance, not semblance, her like special ability or secondary ability is her silver, silver eyes. eyes, and her silver eyes can like turn grim to stone. Which is very interesting, and something that I liked is they actually introduced Latin Americans into Ruby. I was like, all right, cool, we, we got the Latino, but like, where are my black people? Because I have yet to see them. I have yet to see a person of like actual color, because everyone else is white. Because there's the one um, person, which she was known as like the Grim Reaper, and her uh, weapon was a sight. Oh, Maria Cabrera. Okay, yeah, got it. And they had like the Day of the Dead shit. I was like, oh shit. And then come to find out Ruby's uncle was like, oh, I made my weapon based off of yours and who you are because you are a legend. But this is like an old lady. She's like old, t- tiny, like every Latina. She's like very, she's like short. And she's like, I've had it up to here with y'all shit. And I'm like so low. Like she, she, she mad short. Or we're talking about the blind woman, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, two, it, like, she, like, obviously, Ruby had her weapon based off of her uncles, so unknowingly, like, she's she's inspired two generations of people, and come to find out that they're, like, you know, it's, it's crazy, because they wanted to destroy all people with silver eyes, because Salem knew that that was the only thing that would, like, probably, possibly stop her, or slow her down. So, that's why Ruby's mom is not in the picture at all. She I thought different. Ruby and Yang's mom were the same. Nope. Two, nope. two different moms. They're, they're half so, half Daddy buddy. got game and Daddy got laid by the two girls in the squadron. But, daddy got messy. Daddy made uh, sweet, sweet love to so Raven. It's, uh, so it's the same Yang. thing. Mm-hmm. Because she got it. That's the whole thing. That's what's been kind of like, hold on. How come you look like your sister's mom and then you also got her powers? Because Raven does have the silver eyes as well, if I'm not but mistaken. Nope. Raven has red eyes. You got yeah. the silver eyes from her mama. Yeah. You got her silver eyes from Summer. Uh, so, yeah. So, basically, uh, Ruby's and Yang's daddy got game. He a pimp. Got me- yeah, P-I-M-P. Got me- and that I got something. messy That's about it. Uh, a pimp named Slickback approves. It's also one of one of the reasons why Raven don't like him because, like, damn, you, you banged your two girls in your squad, like, girl, like what? Same up? squad, you dude. Same squad, right, even. It's like, ooh. <laughs> the, the same squad. Daniel with the capital D. Hmm. Oh, anyways, so there's that, I guess, and it's like, listen, Penny got got. Penny got got again. And it's like, why you always keep bringing her back just to kill her off? I swear to God, like I Penny be deserved better. Boy. She got to be a real girl because they got to design her a human body to like put her soul into it. And then guess what? She got to see her robotic android self get basically deconstructed in front of her by a virus because. We didn't know how to keep that plot progression going. Like, is she important? Is she not? Why are we still fighting over it? Like, she has a virus. She don't got a virus. Like, why are we doing... Like, listen. I'm going to be very honest. Ruby's writing needs to, like, focus down on a single thread. Because what they have shown us over the years is that multiple distinctive threads that they try to interconnect and interweave and do the itsy bitsy spider type of thing and make it all a good story it's not the tea no and i'm sorry like listen hold up like i'm i'm about to preach on a second like i'm sorry to whoever like you know was the one in charge of like making the story happen to like a degree like listen you're allowed to make own stories and you're allowed to make your own things okay because we love the world of ruby because we have that sense of immersion in it however treat the characters with like a little bit more respect because they got you where you are right now if you wanted that 
thing where like you're being in the media department, you're going to do all the other things and you're going to entertain us. Okay, fine. Entertain us. But dude, what the hell? Like when you see the finalized product and this is us like a part of the podcast, this is me talking to like the public or whatever. This is us trying to be part of the podcast. And this is us trying to farm a way to like verbalize a lot of things. We can't focus on a single thread because you have everything going at the same time. If you're going to focus on a character, focus on a character. Make sure that the, fo- that the, st- the character story is cohesive from end to finish. Hey, 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 if you're going to bring back Penny. A- 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 anything everywhere all at once. The, the yeah, basically. The Congratulations to her. But anyways, point is, you know, like point is, like, Ruby was fun. Ruby had what we thought was a clear narrative. From season four, we understood, hey, Monty is no longer with us. So we gave you the benefit of, like, hey, we're still repping. We're still out here in the trenches. I've been with you since day one. Even I'm finding it hard to like keep watching because at the end of the day, it's like, okay, so you brought in, this is just me going off like season six, seven, and eight. You brought in a big ass whale. We're going to invade. We have a civil war or the inklings of a civil war happening within this domain. Then we're going to drop that thing, but we're going to separate all the characters. But also the Grims are invading, but we don't see the Grims invading. But then we see a big ass mammoth and then, uh, oh, we're going to drop the city on the people. No, 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 no. We're going to elevate the city and then we're going to fly away, leaving these people out there to the elements, to the cold and to their whatever. But also we have to for the for the heating services, but also we have to fight a corrupt regime. And we have to make sure that we have an elected official. But at the same time, we have to deal with, like, Ruby lying. And we have to deal with Ruby being like, no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to tell him that we saw the lamp there. We're not going to tell him that we saw, made the wish to the lamp. And we got our questions asked. We're going to ask him. We're not going to tell him that we already got that information, that we know that he's a liar. Oh, but we also want to do, like, the communication setting and all that stuff. We want to bring that up. That's yeah, all. it's pretty much a war zone. All. We're That's getting all. a war zone of a story. That's literally what it is. Volume 6, 7, and 8. And you would think, you know, here's the thing. You would think that it would be like, oh, cool. So they tackle one at a time. No, 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 no. Sometimes we have like five things in one single episode. And we're like, dude, what? What's going on? And like the decision of making Ironwood like the villain and like the Aesops and giving all this type of like focus here, 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 like listen. Do you see how blurry he is just from explaining this? Listen, like it's giving me a headache at this point. Yeah, okay? no, that de- definitely. Like I like the show. I like the show. Here's my problem. I like the show. I just I need you to take the reins and say, we're going to do this. We're going to make sure that this is fun. And then we're possibly going to maybe focus on this other thing. Why did you open volume eight? With that giant ass whale, the mother of all Grimm's landing down. And we're going to do this whole invasion. Clear her up two episodes later. You didn't even show us how you clear it up. Suddenly it's like we're walking, and next thing we know, we're inside of the whale. Yeah, that. I so so on that part, I I agree as well. Mainly because like oh like this this is supposed to be something like no very overarching right. But it's like, hey, like, you know, we got rid of, like, it, it was like, we did it. We, like, Dora does, we did it, we did it. And I'm like, what, It felt why? so disrespectful at one point. It's like, dude, why? Why do all this? Why introduce us? Why take us along telling you, oh, we're going to give you this story. We're going to do this. We're going to do this other thing. And then you're not going to do this. Like, for what? Like, what? Like, and then, you know, this is harkening back to, like, the first beginning T of, like, the episode or whatever. It's like, oh. And then we see, like, everything else is going off inside of the office. And we're like, oh. But at the same time, it's like, maybe if you need more time, 
to get your things together, we completely understand. Say that to the people who have been supporting you from the jump. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, yo, we're, we're dealing with some things inside of the house. We're going to make sure that we got this thing together so that we can still give you, like, the show that we want. But, uh, hey, mm -mm. this is the sad part is, with all this thing going around, with all the discourse currently going off with the Ruby fandom, or we don't know what's going to happen in this uncertainty, if they decide to close curtains with Ruby, I'm not going to be mad. That's, mm -hmm. And that's the part. That's the bad part. That's the bad part. And the sad part is, like, if they decide to, this is curtains, this is it, bye, we're done. We're not going to do anything else. I'm like, oh, thank God. You know, it's like, oh, fine, I let it die. And it's sad because I really like this show. And I really like the fan slogan that we're like, it, everything is a gun. It's like, it was the funniest thing ever. Like, oh, it's a pair of glasses, but it's also a Glock. And it's like, yeah, oh, I like that the, thing, the, you know? The teacher with, with the canister like, and his canister is like a flamethrower. I was like, what? Uh, the... Homeboy was chugging vodka. And, like, you know what? Love that. Love that. Because, like, they had this sense of creativity for, like, the guns and everything. Look at the weaponry. Look at the weaponry. The weaponry is what I want. I, I want look that. At, I look want at this that. weaponry. Look at this weaponry from the last seasons. What do we got? I want that. We got I no flair. We had legit a faunus that is meant to be a dog or some type of Siberian husky or something. I don't know what he was. He had a boomerang. And it was like, a boomerang with a saw blade on one of the tips of the boomerang. It's like, a saw blade and also a gun. A gun! And you're like, that sounds really cool. Until you see the execution. Girl, you don't morph that? You you don't do things? You just have a big ass strapping triangle no, on your sauce to that. Good day, mate. We 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 had the good planning, but you know what they forgot? The common writer Tokyo, uh, the Tokyo, uh, Sentai. That's what they were missing. It's like we had the noodles, we had the side dishes. The plan was perfect, but you forgot the sauce. You forgot. You forgot the, the chef. You're plating everything raw. Exactly. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's Start off talking about food and be like, you plated it raw. And it's like, wait, what? <laughs> they forgot the chef. They're plating the whole thing raw. They're like, here, Funny eat it. Man, we're like... be disappointed. And we're over here that. going like this. We're here going, it's so good. <laughs> ah. Listen, yeah. Ruby Scythe, which is her most iconic thing. Crimson Rose is always meant to be the most iconic weapon in the whole damn show. She don't transform no more. She just, choo -choo -choo, is there. Choo -choo -choo, it's there. You literally have assets with the sound of the morphing and the click and the clack and the, the, the gear. It felt heavy. It felt like that girl is slinging around some weight. She is. And now it don't feel like that no more. Now it feels like she's doing this. Hi. Exactly. Bye. It's like watching Power Rangers, right? And I get, you know, Power Rangers, they have their set time for the episode. Um, but you always uh, see the Megazord transformation, all right? We always see the gears turning, the interlock formation. We even saw it in Voltron. We're missing that. Without that sequence, although it seems pointless, we it's even the We even see, we even see the Power Ranger, whatever, when they're going to do, like, their whole group attack cannon, and they interlock everything. And, like, exactly. yeah, girl, they got it together. You promised that in Ruby, and, like, damn. We're not, we not getting that. that. Oh, so, I don't know if you guys know, they actually made a game to Ruby, but the game oh. to Ruby is post-redesign. I haven't touched it yet. I want to touch it. I, I want to actually play it on my Twitch, uh, but I also don't want to spend that, like, you know, what is it, 20-ish to buy it? And, Twitch. Yeah, uh, hey, girl, you know you want to. Uh, on, on you know you want to, girl. Uh, What's your time? Uh, I stream What's your Twitching time? Uh, I stream Mondays and uh, Thursdays. Looking to switch it Tuesday, Thursdays. But uh, Monday, Thursday. Don't that cash out. Um, I don't remember my cash app right now. Uh, Where do we support you? Where do we support you? <laughs> what you got? You got well, merch? First, 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 um, First of all, we will have merch in the near future. First of all. Second of all, um, 
this is actually a great time for Sage to plug in uh, his sponsor group because he actually has one, and so do I. Uh, so this right. is a good time. Drugs. Join the gym. Uh, I'm planning on buying a plant. Children. Just go ahead and give up the lifestyle, okay? It, I'm out. It, it, it is. Not doing it, 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 uh, we're not doing this. Juju's actually leaving. Oh my god. He'll be back in a second, guys. So. Ooh. So. <laughs> did you did you not see the smoke rise up from this? Okay. Yeah, because there's a reason for this. It, it, it's pre workout. Um, what? Yes. Uh, where, where can people find it? You know, uh, it's a special code, but this is W Energy. I need to, you know, get to back to promoting this. I just finalized the new code. I will be coming out with the promotion soon, properly on that new code but for now uh pretty much find any streamer use their code get 10 percent off until you can get mine which will be officially released before wednesday of this week oh so and then when we edit we'll we'll make sure to just like put it right there uh, i have one as well uh it is for otako official they are a uh, clothing brand uh, i have mine uh just uh like you know go through their site uh which will be linked to in the description um go on type it up uh d dog uh d dog so there's two d's uh 25 for 25 percent off uh the clothing uh it does take a minute to get here uh but it's actually pretty decent and i'll make a review on that uh on the join the gym you know follow the way of salsa we the get way... games in this house Ooh, ooh, that felt really nice <laughs> yes oh my god yes my back too oh my my boy's gonna look at this later and be like, why are you flexing? Why why do you have why are, why don't you have a shirt on? Ninety percent of my TikToks are like without a shirt on, which is why I think. Uh, are you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was the most bloodiest thing I've ever seen you do. Oh my god! I need to cover up. I'm a decent woman. <laughs> I am a child of the Lord. <laughs> So, so, what is that? <laughs> I need Jesus. Oh my God! Oh, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Hold on, he said, two angels. he said two angels and a pastor. The pastor's name? Uh, we we don't really worry about that. But you know, he said panty and stocking. They'll be on the way shortly. Oh. Listen, so sad. Uh, mm, I mean, that made me feel. So Oh, that, that was so sick of you. Because I'm going to cosplay. Uh, I'm going to try and fit into a Gojo cosplay for Otakon. That was so sexy of you. Like, oh my god. No, no. You got me playing with my hair and everything. Like, woo. Uh, someone a little bit breathable and submissive. We're not. Mm -mm, no, we're not doing that. No. Mm -mm. Sorry, Sage. But, but... So, sorry, Sage. It's been a while since but... you has been on the TikTok live. So... So, back, back, to the, back, back to the no, 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 Ruby. This needs to be explained right now. So, um, Juju was on a live, and it, it was late at night, and I realized I was speaking like this, <clears throat> and I was like, "Oh shit, guys! Like, you know, I gotta, I gotta bring down my voice, um, because, like, you know, I, I don't want to wake up the family." Oh my God. And Juju, Juju, and his whole chat were like, "Ooh, Daddy, Poppy!" I was like. A oh, so essentially the stuff. response that you were telling me from your girlfriend's sister. Huh? So essentially you're you had that. I'm lost. You're going. I have not. I have not. Babe, I have not. I have not done that. I'm so confused. What happened? No, I said, so pretty much you got the response, but tenfold from what you were telling me about your girlfriend's sister. Nigga, I'm going to cut that part out. I'm exactly. So I'm so lost. Ain't, when ain't, when ain't, they were like, no one try try and slob on my knob from the house. No, no, no. no, no. Yo. <laughs> I, so... <laughs> so you don't remember telling me? Oh yeah, you know my girlfriend's sister likes you, bro. And oh, I'm yeah, like, yeah, who yeah. are you talking about? Like, what, what do you mean? I don't even know this person. How does she even know me? I was asking all these questions, and I'm like. Hello. I look Hello. like wet concrete. It's me. 
you, you know, I, I got a scar on my face. You know, I, I got a Power Ranger like statue. Time listening to us, man. Just some random shit. He's like, I'm here. What's happening? I love Damn. it that he has been sleeping the whole episode. He, he that is such sleeping. a fucking move. Don't, 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 don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. We, we, saw, we saw the rubbing of the eyes. We know dead ass. You would be like, you're not seeing him look to the corner. He's he lying. Father. He is a father and he gets no sleep. So I'll allow it. Wow, so so you gonna say that he was sleeping the whole time? Really? Uh, like, really? Small naps here and there because he he's been communicating here and there. Exactly, he was asleep. He was asleep. Um, what were we talking about? <laughs> I don't know, girl. We got we got discombobulated. Um. Oh yeah, we were missing the sauce oh, because yeah, yeah. The, the, the they food. dropped. The details, okay. If this was Gordon Ramsay cooking some food or on um Hell's Kitchen, he would be like, "This is some fucking shit." No, Get the, this, this is out of so my raw, face. It's still talking to you. This bit exactly. is so raw. It's still milling. <laughs> like I need my sequence. I need my action sequence because that was what adds the detail. It feels good. It feels. Like, oh, yeah, I'm there. I'm in the zone. Okay. It's something's about to, it's, I'm, it's about to go down. You know exactly when you start hearing the gears turning. It's like, okay, you guys, let's get it. And you start Basically, hearing the Basically, it's like, listen, they sold us Ruby on the basis of, like, the action. We're missing the action. We're just like, listen, I'm not even trying to hark on there, like, the whole, like, ah, <laughs> Ruby this, Ruby whatever, like, no, baby. Like, they literally sold us the damn thing with, like, hey, we're going to fight. This is the action base. The weapons morph. We got Yang with her iconic, like, boom, boom, when she fires. There's a shotgun blast. The hands, you know, like, click the, the way that she reloads. They're doing all that thing. We have Blake with her, like, submachine gun with her whippy, whippy, what's up, what's up. We have Weiss with her, like, revolver on, like, the rapier and whatever. We have Ruby with her whole sniper thing in the situation. We love that. What we get is so lifeless. It's like they're doing this. We're going to go fight. Yeah. Well, I'm, and then, I'm yeah. going to and then say this. I don't mind. I really didn't mind it because of the anime. Because of the anime. Um, I didn't mind Ruby um, Queendom. You know, it, it actually showed a little bit of like kind of like a like a hidden gem, in a, in a sense, because you didn't know that there was gonna be a new a new character in in that um, in that show, um, and make and for me, like I felt that hmm, why didn't they show it? Why didn't they show it in the old in the old one? Maybe because you know this one is so important, and then the and then the concept of um. Of Weiss actually being, um, actually having something on her was kind of interesting to me. You know, I'm having that, like, I forgot what it was, but I know that it, like, it started making her evil. And I was just like, oh, that's a, that's a pretty cool concept. The, the justifications. I, I know, Juju. I know. I know. I see you. I see you over there. I see you. <laughs> Harping back, which was, like, kind of good to it. Um, I don't know if you, like, really hear it. That's why I'm just trying to, like, quickly go He, he didn't hear anything, but when I say, like, his expressions were on point, it was if his natural state well, well, was the raw well, reaction yeah. to... <laughs> So yeah, uh, the harping back to it, uh, he enjoyed the adding of a character he enjoyed. It was kind of okay for the like full callback, but besides that, he actually enjoyed it because like you know it was a little bit a more like a reminiscence uh, type situation. Right. Yeah, like and it's like no tea. Listen, like when it's come back to reminiscing and all that stuff, like in the in the for the sake of, because there has been some characters that have been constantly being brought back, and that is Penny, and that is neo um 
it's fun because it's like a callback to like you know specific characters that the fans latched onto. But mm-hmm. when you're essentially just bring them on and then having them do nothing and then being rewarding them doing nothing by then like 86 in the character it's kind of like it's my, my whole point is like you're mixing and jumbling and it's like dude why why bring penny back to just then just have like oh we are permanently killing off penny and it's like dude what's the point fans actually like the character fans actually like the whole thing and then yeah. Sorry. There's like this whole overarching thing, and it's like even with the characters that we do have, mm-hmm. they it it feels like they don't like each other because we haven't had a single moment where they just like interact wholeheartedly, and like when when we have moments that they have like these very big conversations with one another as characters, like for example, um, to give you this example is Yang and um Ren when they're having this discussion over, like, the Valley of Ice and all that stuff, like, they're discussing how we're going to do this, how we're going to continue with this mission, how we're going to try to kill Monster, which is, like, the big-ass well, and whatever. And it's, like, a very tense moment, and it felt rewarding. It felt like like rain almost. It's like, yes, girl, give me this. And then next thing, it's like, ah, oh, yeah, I guess we're all good with one another. That tension that we had is just joined. And... It feels like a slap in the face. Like, I keep harboring on. It's like, listen, if you have characters, use the characters. Don't be afraid of not using the characters, you know? But also, right. don't bring yeah. along characters and don't drag them on if you're not going to do nothing with them. Yeah, that's, that's another thing, too, that, like, the, the end of part three, we had, like, that massive, huge school shootout, basically, with all the mm-hmm. students from all the oh. grades. Oh. Where are all the students with all the things? Like, no one knows. No one's been like, okay, cool. All students are accounted for. And, like, no, the teachers, this is what we're going to do. But that's because they didn't have Ospin. So it's like, okay, cool. Or Oscar, whatever his face is. I don't care. Right. It's like Ospin at the time. It, it's kind of weird because, like, they could have done something with that because, all right, cool. Now let's all rally behind this place because this is where we're going. So, like, you know, a portion of our students will stay back to help defend yada yada with the other uh, hunters and like no that's how they'll get their license the other half will go and we'll travel to here and like no we'll get in yada yada but it like oh yeah no these eight students that's it i'm like there was so much more in the class it probably would have like diluted a little bit too much because then you would have too many characters but at the same time it's like eh they could have did it like the fourth great ninja war scene of Madara versus the Shinobi Alliance. Exactly. They could have done that. They could have. Yes, but... it's a whole bunch of characters, but they were all known to be side characters. And what happened? They served their purpose. Now, was it to get folded like an omelet? Yes, it was. But did it add to the story? And we still kept spring time on the main crew. Yes, we did. Are we? Are we talking about the old? Are we talking about? The 3D Ruby or the new Ruby? The first one. 3D, 3D Ruby, because the, the new 3D Ruby, Ruby basically is not going to be continued. Okay. My 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 feeling is this: when it came when it came to when it came to t- I'm trying to take down Sa- I'm trying to take down Salem. I think that should have been like the fourth grade Ninja War moment. For mm-hmm. like everyone, for like everyone to get um to join together instead of Team Ruby actually being actually being the one to to try to defeat her, because let's face it, there's a bunch of semblances, there's a bunch of um things that Salem wouldn't um, wouldn't have handled. So if that was the case, you should have you should have had Ruby, knowing that she is the chosen one. Have her talk about um talk about hey, you know let um let's try to take out Salem because let's face it, she's the reason why this is happening, and mm-hmm. it should have been like it should have been like that instead of like instead of um Team Ruby and Ozpin trying to take them down. Now I know that the prophecy is that Ozpin is the one to um, to do it. But he did. But he needed help. Yeah, he's like Ash. Catch him. Got gotta catch him all right. 
Um, hey, 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 my guy. No, on the he's, ass. Cool. he's definitely right. Talking about all this stuff, they're coming to Puerto Rico for Comic Con. All four voice actresses are coming to Puerto Rico Comic Con. I might have the opportunity to finally meet the Ruby persons, but yeah. even at this point, I don't even know if it's just gonna go through. Cause mm. like they they announced a Comic Con like panel of stuff here in the island, and we was hyped. Two days later, we get the whole downpour of like the whole thing, and like the anime community here in Puerto Rico, some are like fifty fifty with Ruby. They're like. Some of them care. Some of them don't just outright don't know what it is. But like the thing is, like those who do know, we're like, girl, are you gonna be able to come down to Puerto Rico? Cause like we don't even know what's gonna happen. And like I'm excited to meet a lot of them people, right? Cause like mm -hmm. I won't. Hey, it's like Ruby, and like I've been with you for like from the jump. But at the same time, it's like. And it's very disappointing to hear, especially from like a fan that's been with them for like so long. But it's like, it's like this uh, unspoken type of echo thing that most of us are having. And it's if they decide to close curtain on Ruby, we're good. That's kind of mm -hmm. sad. Because right now, it is because they're running around with like a ghost team uh, at the point. And like even the fandom, it's like a ghost fandom at this point. We, we're like, eh. Uh, we love you, but we're like, uh... yeah, it sucks. You know, it really because sucks. You want... yeah, because you're wa you're wanting to you wanting to see it. You wanting to see a new um a new um chapter of of the series, and now it's kind of like you gotta wait. But what I can't what I can say is because I did my research on the whole t on the whole topic of why mm -hmm. they're, why they're taking their time with with um chapter nine nine mm -hmm. chapter nine and it's and i kind of respect it i respect that the fact that you know they don't want to be rushed they they even said that they were um, that pe um during um a small percentage i want to say like 10 percent of of the fandom we're like upset because of the fact that it's taking so long for it to um, for it to be produced, and and then what um what the team has said was you know we're trying to we're trying to make it work. We're not trying we're not trying to rush and then things get sloppy, and then you um, and we appreciate for all of the other fans to understand why we're taking so long because we want we want to make Monty pro and that was the and that was the one thing that really hit me because not a lot of teams do that they said that they want to make Monty Ohm proud of chapter 9 and I and I like it I'm getting emotional because it's kind of like you know like for for a for a creator like myself I'm sorry for promoting, but like, like for me, to, for me to create and have a team and have them like, you know, appreciate that if I, God forbid, you know, mm -hmm. lose, mm -hmm. lose myself, um, I want, I want my team to be like, hey, I want, I want, I want um Gypsy to be um to be proud of the fact that we're making his creation work yeah, the way no, he wanted yeah. it. You know, so it's kind of like I'm carrying on that will, bro. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, no, legit. And it's like, listen, Monty did a lot for the animation and Monty did a lot for like Ruby. Monty was like the it guy for it. Yep. And now look. <laughs> it's gonna sound to out. It, Yeah, it's gonna sound like very maybe out of touch i don't know how it's gonna come across but like they're saying that they want to do this do what now like the whole like honoring monty and doing the whole thing and like making sure that the that the product is like good but like if it feels a little bit late if i'm gonna be completely honest it feels a little bit late like they should have been jumping on that thing like as soon as season four 
because it was like the freshest season out of like Monty's passing. Yeah. But then uh, after that, like we have that, but then we also have like this controversy, which is rather new ish, but like it's all piling up together and it kind of feels like smoke and mirrors, if that makes sense. Because mm. they're like trying to like maybe like, oh, oh, we're, we're, we're doing this and they're trying to hark into our emotions and it do work because a lot of people respect Monty for what he did. A lot of people respect Monty for what he did for the animation community, especially like considering like the American animation with the 3D things and whatever. And like, sure, it might not have been like for some of the critics that they will always be like, it's not really well blended or animated. And like, yeah, who cares? But it's like produced here. And like, look at what we're doing. And this is so fun and like so cool. Wouldn't you want to be in it? And like, that's something like, I remember when like Ruby was like the hardcore type of thing. And, like we were gonna like we gonna fight and this is like the thing. And like Ruby is this and I would hyper pitch and hyper sell it. At this point in time, I'm like if you want to watch it, go ahead and watch it. Like I'm like as a fan, the wave is out. That's yeah, what as it's a doing. fan, like the wave it's, is out. As a fan of the thing, it's like water. The water stopped moving. We're here because we kind of like the ambiance, but if I'm going to be very honest, if I got to swim away, I'm going to swim away. But um, Monty did a lot. Monty had bullet points to like the animation because it is very well documented that he liked to improvise. And that is granted. That is lovely. However, the art that he did and everything that he had was great. If you want to take your time, take your time. But at this point in time, you're saying that you're doing it for him. Kind of feels like a little bit late. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Like, we respect Ruby. You get but, it. Yeah. But it feels kind of like late. Because you should have been on that ship. Season four. Like, we learned of Monty's passing. Season four got delayed. And it'd be like. We're doing this for Monty. We're making sure that everything in the quality and whatever da, 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 is for Monty. And like we're doing this art changes or whatever, right? Because it's easier for us because we didn't know how to navigate that thing that he had. And like key animators that worked with Monty left ship, you know? Because that's essentially what happened as well. So it's like, you know, like they should have been given that statement for volume nine. Mm hmm. And volume four. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I definitely get, I definitely get it, because, you know, I did, I did recognize the change in season four, in season four. But me personally, I'm very, con how can I say, I'm very complacent when it comes to when it comes to things like that. When it, when I see a difference, I'll be like, oh, it's different. Mm -hmm. But it's nice animation. It. Yeah. It's pretty nice and, yeah, it's like it's nice animation. So I'm just like, okay. Then I started seeing that the difference of, you know, of how the characters acted. Still acted the same. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it kind of had some develop development. If you, if you agree or not, I do feel that there was a little bit of, of, um, of development with Ruby. Mm -hmm. With Weiss, with Blake, mm -hmm. and with Yang. I don't know, legit. Like they had their moment. They had their their unique things. But as characters and whatnot, and as a writer, mm -hmm. you you get to like pay attention when they kind of like lose a little bit of the characteristics along the way. Because right, Yang, sure, her trauma and everything. We don't expect like the character to like fully bounce back from that uh but she essentially lost the thing that made her like a brightest of the bunch and whatnot blake uh with her anxieties and all the other things and like the, her whole narrative of going back home only to then like leave home and like find make sure that she is herself it's like oh, okay cool but <laughs> We're focusing on everybody else, and Ruby is just there. If we have to talk about it, we have to yeah. say it like this. 
Ruby is just there. She's just going along. She doesn't feel like a character anymore. Uh, one of the examples that I have to bring, and one of the many examples that a lot of people have to bring up, is the fact that when Yang falls, Ruby doesn't react. Blake reacts the hardest. Ruby is not allowed to be her own character anymore, and it feels kind of like... Dude. They died out. Yeah, like, what yeah. happened? Because, like, we are with you throughout the whole thing. You don't know what's justifying suddenly, like, you're not having any characteristic and any of the things. You're a battle savvy, weapon techie type of characteristic and whatever, and you're hyper and you're energetic and whatever. And, like, we understand, but, like, you are being played so far of left field that when they try to harken back into, like, what her, made her personality kind of, like, unique, it kind of feels disingenuous at this point. It kind of feels like, oh, okay, you're, you're, you tried. I I wanna I wanna bring like some mental into this. Some uh -huh. people went some like psychology. Oh, okay, this. go ahead. Like, um, for some people, for some people who are are going tech savvy and stuff like that, and they're quir and they're quirky and they're all like that, um. I can understand. I I can definitely understand that once something happens traumatically, you don't know how to feel because you're always that. You're always like that. You're always you know that that quirky, uplifting, and and um. How can I say? You know, Impressive. optimistic, mm. and. Once, once that trauma of seeing that your sister's arm just got cut off, and then and then seeing how um, Blake just leaves because you know every, because she understands why Blake had left, she shuts down. So that. That comment you had with that Ruby is there, it's just it's just there and it's not showing. She's showing, but it's not there. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like she, mm -hmm. she's present, but she she's not like you know out and about. She's not standing out, even though the show is titled basically behind her. Ruby. And yeah, right. and honestly, I I want to see what's gonna happen. Um, one with this controversy, and two if they actually continue. With that being said, we are ending the episode. You can follow us all on our social media, which will be flying somewhere around here and uh, in the description. Um, the clips will be flying out on social medias, but mostly on YouTube. Uh, currently for the month of January and February, you will be seeing Sage with the takeover. And then Juju is going to do the next takeover in March and April. And then we'll go from there. Uh, with that being said, peace. Uh, okay. Hey, <laughs>